Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at array indexing and how to access items in an array. So there are two basic operations we can perform on arrays. The first is data.length and this returns the number of items in the array. And then the second operation is data i, uh, where i is the index, and this returns the item at index i of the array. Now, we know that i equals 0 is the first index of the array uh, because we, can't, we count from 0. Uh, therefore, data 0 is how we access the first item in the array. Now, if we wanted to access the last item in the array, um, i equals data dot length minus 1 uh, is the last index. Um, again, because we're counting from 0, if we use just data dot length, um, we're going to be out of bounds of the array. So to access the final item, we use data, data dot length minus 1. So just keeping in mind that the first index of the array is index 0, uh, it's easy to see, for example, uh, that we can access the third item in the array with data 2, uh, the fourth item in the array with data 3, uh, and just so on and so on like that. But what if we want to work backwards and access, say, the second to last item in the array? Well, we already know that the last item is found at uh, the index data dot length minus one. So it follows that the second last item can be accessed at index data, data dot length minus one minus one, or data, data dot length minus two. All right, so now let's just pop over to Eclipse so that we can take a look at how this all works using an example array. All right, so you can see here I have an array uh, containing eight items. So let's go ahead and try to access some of the items in this array. So if I want, if I type uh, this print statement, so if I access uh, data index zero, obviously if we go ahead and run that, that's going to print out the first item in the array. Um, now, if I, change that zero to a three just before I run it have a quick think about what you think it's going to print out all right I'll go ahead and run that and it's printed out 48 and you can see that the um, if we start at index zero we've got zero one two three the item at index three is 48 um, now obviously if we want to go ahead and print out the last item in the array we can use what we did earlier and we can print out the item at index data dot length minus one. All right, we'll run that. And yep, six, that's the last item in the array. Um, now what if I change that to, uh, we'll say data dot length minus five. So again, just have a quick uh, think about what that's going to print out. And we'll go ahead and run this and it's printed out 48. And you can see here, if um, the item at data dot length minus one is six, we're just going to move to the left once for each further count. So we've got minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So the item at data dot length minus five is 48. Um, all right, so that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, that was just a short introduction uh, to array indexing and accessing items in an array. Um, and in the next video in this series, we're going to be looking at how to traverse an array. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful and have a great day. Bye.